They have been one of the great vaudeville acts of all time. You know, I've always been a big Amorosa fan, but Amorosa, you're fired. Their long-running routine has taken them both to the biggest stage on earth. Amorosa is actually a very nice person. Nobody knows that. But... <laughs> now you ask, where did the love go? Low life. She's a low life. I had a blind spot where it came to Donald Trump. Omarosa, or someone, has just written a book called Unhinged. Whether the title refers to the author or the subject or both, a question for another time. But for now, there is no doubt about the vast quantity of mud being slung. And once I heard it for myself, it was confirmed what I feared the most. It confirmed that he is truly a racist. Omarosa is kicking off her book tour with audio conversation she says she secretly recorded with the top brass at the White House. If we make this a friendly departure, um, we can all be, you know, you can look at look at your time here in, in uh, the White House as a year of service to the nation. That's Chief of Staff John Kelly firing her, she says. This is the Commander-in-Chief claiming he knew nothing. Uh, Marosa, what's going on? I just saw on the news that you're thinking about leaving. What happened? Now the Prez is dumping all over his former sidekick, claiming people in the White House hated her. She was vicious, but not smart. The list of people who've turned on him, who has gone from friend to foe, is so incredibly long. That's Omarosa in 2016, three days after the election. Who knew? I think that Omarosa, unfortunately, has undercut her own credibility. Shocking indeed, especially since Omarosa's track record in Washington features these classic quotes from her few weeks at the Commerce Department in 2000 when she was asked to leave as quickly as possible. One woman wanted to slug her. Then in the office of Vice President Gore, she was the worst hire we ever made. Uh, Omarosa was fired three times on The Apprentice, and uh, this was the fourth time we let her go. But she kept getting hired, and now she's wielding audio like it was War of the Worlds. And if I didn't have these recordings, no one in America would believe me. No one. And even then, in New York, Steve Lampard, I-24 News.